All right, the next step in getting all of the cables connected, power cables and data cables. Um, we're actually going to hook up all of the fans in the system as well as the power connection to the CD-ROM. Um, to do that, we're going to kind of connect a few of these together and try to use the minimum number of cables that we can in order for a nicer looking uh, cable system. So the first thing we're going to do with this one is plug in our modular cable to the power supply. So let's go ahead and get that hooked in. The next thing we want to do is we want to get these cables down underneath um, the other cables we have here to just keep it nice and clean. So I'm going to drop this down underneath. So we got this in here, and now one of these we want to keep down this direction so that we can hook up our um, rear fan. So we're going to go ahead and leave that up here, and we're going to run this other one up top here. Now what we want to do we want to take the connection for our top fan and we actually want to group it together with the power connection for our middle front fan or top front fan however you want to word that so we want to group these two together you want to make sure you use the this side so we're going to do that and then the next thing we want to do with this before we do anything else is actually use a little adapter that's going to allow us to connect the CD-ROM drive to a SATA power connection. So we have this little adapter here that we're going to use. It's just got a, a normal 4-pin connection there and then it's got a SATA power connection here. And we're just going to plug this into this chain. And then we're going to take this end of the power connection and we're going to plug it into the back of the CD-ROM. This is exactly the same as the power connections you already did for the hard drive and the SSD. I'm going to find the slot. Make sure you line it up right. And then make sure you get it pushed in nice and secure. So we have that connected. And now I want to take the top portion of this modular power connector that we just connected to the power supply. And we want to connect it into the line here to provide power to all three of these devices. The two fans as well as the CD-ROM. Plug that in nice and easy. And we're done there. That is now all connected. And now we want to plug in this rear fan. I'll try to give you a good shot of this here. I don't know if you can see the cabling here. We're actually going to run this up the top here, down the side. down here by the power supply 
And we're going to drop this right down in here. And we want to connect that to this other power connection that we left behind here. And make sure you can see what we're doing here. It's getting a little tight down here. You see the two connections? We're just going to plug these in to each other and that's going to provide power to our rear fan. And we'll worry about tidying this up in a little bit to make sure everything's nice and secure down and out of the way. Alright, so we're ready for the next step in our process. So the next thing that we want to do is actually hook up the power connection to the motherboard. And then hook up the power connection to the 8 pin connector up at the very top of the motherboard. And then the last thing we'll want to do is actually hook up the SATA connectors to the two hard drives and the CD-ROM drive.